for a dark view of the alternative comedy circuit in the first part of Linda LaPlante's powerful new thriller, Comics. Thanks for myself. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see the disabled Olympics? I, I was disgusted by it. All those people in wheelchairs. Did you see them? They were racing and, and shot putting and swimming. Did you notice? Did you notice the announcer? He didn't drool or stutter once. You would have watched yourself shooting your mouth off. You were smashed. Who are you smiling for? It's controlled all up and down the line, right? It sucks. I told you to watch your Nobody fucking language. You are. Nobody, man. Nobody sees those 14-year-old Filipino girls that are blowing coke up now your look, ass we'll with a big right back after this Donny Osmond, Osmond right. Hollywood we'll motherfucking right bullshit artist. Hi there. That's it. They crashed out to the ads. Where are you going? I'm hungry. Sit down. Will you sit down? You want a hamburger? Yeah. Phyllis, give me a hamburger and a Coke. You want a Coke? Yeah. And a Coke, Phyllis. Use the microwave. Be two seconds. Do you have any idea how long it took me to get you on a Hardyman show? You have any comics to give their eye teeth? So you didn't like the ass? It's just a break of a lifetime, you schmuck. You're banned from the entire goddamn network. Nobody wants to touch you. You're on self-destruct, you know that? Yes! This boozing, you promised. You gave me your word you were dried out. Is that cooked? Why do you do it? I like the taste. Oh, raw meat. Oh. You know what I mean. This is for you. It's a tax claim from the IRS. I told you to pay it off six months ago. I even fronted you the cash. Well, I'm not a charity. Not any longer. No calls, Phyllis, unless it's that mouth. Get out, Phyllis. No calls for two minutes. You got 242 complaints. Racist, sexist. You're screwing up on the Hardyman show as repercussions for me and for the rest of my clients. You think I can just pick up the telephone and just call? <coughs> you crazy son of a bitch. I love you, Morris.
got it at 12 o'clock. So that's it, then? Yeah, that's it. You need help, Johnny. Get it before you kill yourself. on his way up. It's the low rider Harley on the sidewalk. Yo, I want this bike to look stupid. Not a scratch. Nobody touches it. Word, you want cigarettes? I want a candy bar. Uh, cigarettes! Smoke! Make us laugh, funny man. Kill you. I'm gonna kill you! See you. Come on, Morris. I'm outside. I gotta talk to you. Ah, oh, shit, Morris. I know you're in there. What happened, Morris? Somebody deck you? Morris, I'm serious. Did somebody beat you up? I got a nosebleed. I got a weak septum. I've been trying to call you all afternoon. Yeah, well, they cut off my phone. I should have known. No, physically, they cut off my phone. They took my bike. Look, I don't want to know. You all own Morris, that my bike. It was all I had. I got something for you, but I got to get Look, back to the bike. I need cash. Tonight. I got to get it back. I'll it's do anything. It's a tour of clubs, colleges, and universities. Fine, I'll take it. They got TV specials, 12 week tour. Now, this guy Duffield owes me a favor. He'll take care of your accommodation. Is your passport up to date? Well, don't think I'm doing this for you. It's me. I want you out of New York. Out of my hair. Out of my life. Got any change, mate? Swear to me. No booze, no drugs. Because you put a foot out of line and it's curtains. 
One whisper of trouble, and I swear before God, I'll make damn sure you never work again. I had to sell this to Duffield. Don't blow this. It's your last chance. Queuing. I'm supposed to meet a guy here by the name of Duffy. Oh, yeah? Well, wait for him at the back of the queue. He's expecting me. I just got in from New York. Could have got in from Tahiti. Back of the line, mate. Look, I'm in the show. Now, you want to tell him I'm here or not? Well, you want to say so, don't you? Here you go. Come on, boys. I told you once. I wasn't here, right? There's no way they should have taken it away. You know me. All right, all right. I'll settle both for cans. Yeah. You're the new barman. What? But you can't, mate. OK, OK. Run it by me. Look, get the Wally out there to show you the pumps. We've got a delivery coming soon. I'm Johnny Lazar. Hang on a minute. Alex, somebody for you. Oh, you Duffield's right. guy? Yeah, he called me about Two it. Two crates well, got of held up. Get backstage, Four meet the gang. Range. Come, Alex. Yeah. One lemon. Oh, all right. Have uh, you got any photos? Two yeah. barrels, yeah. You have two. Okay. No, 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 the other. Now. I'll have a look through, right? Give me a few minutes, right? I'm waiting for Duffield. Fine, Off you go. There you go. All right. But if he's late, don't pay him. Fine. Take care. What do you think of that? Crap. I'll sit down and drink your hands again. OK. Now he loses his eyeball and drops onto the floor. So it's patter patter, all the verbals. And he's looking for his eyeball, right? Or oh, would it be funnier if he was female? Anyway, so he's looking, she's looking, and now I see she's lost her eye. So I look, right? Now I open her beak, look inside. Maybe she's swallowed it, OK? Listen, you want a wee bit of advice, Graham? Yeah, go on. Why don't you stick your head to this beak and do your entire act at its arse? Now, that would be funny. Look, I'm serious. All you crowd care about is sex and filth. Yeah. The difference between you and me, Haggis, is that I am an entertainer. No sex, no filth. It's not necessary. What is? It's being funny. Uh, either you guys know a guy named Duffield. Or you one of his? One of his wife. My name's Johnny. How you doing? David Sinclair. Haggis. Hi, Haggis. This is Graham Redcar, the consummate entertainer. Hi. You on today? Late show. Oh, no. I just got in from New York. Um, can I have a word? Where's Rebecca? She's right here. I've got held up a clap in 15 sodding minutes. Had to get a bloody taxi. Who's yeah, come this? On, Been in a traffic jam. Oh, Could have walked here quicker. Well, thank you for getting here. Oh, so tonight? Oh, man, I just stepped off an airplane. Look, grab it. There are three researchers in, right, from that new Channel 4 cabaret show. Now, it's up to you. I've given you Billy Boyle's slot. They're not going to like it, but it's up to you. Duffield really gave you the big warm-up, you know what I mean? All right, I'll do it. So can I get a, um, a sub? I don't have any money. Nearest hamburger joint. Oh. Down here. Straight down to that red light, hang a right. See one up in the corner, OK? Oh, I told you once. Can't you listen? Leave your crap out of my door.
Geezer walked up and shot a bloke right outside the 3X. All I'm asking you to do is open the I don't know what the world's coming to. Thank you. Two quid, mate. Listen, I just, um... Just what, Creed? Just hold it for me, mate. <laughs> ah. That's it. I bloody warned you. All right. Four grand, right? A small tailor's clubs. Don't you want to count it, though, right? All right, Mickey. Free beer for the entire evening, eh? Oh, he's that tight-fisted bastard. Oh, get out of here, me a shift from this floor. Oh, hey, the fuel's looking for you inside. What have you done? It's a ketchup. I got a hamburger. Oh, give us a hand, prick. Language. There you are, lads. Compliments to the house. Encourage them. They're like, what's this? Aye, aye, aye. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Oh, aye. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry I wasn't here. Oh, brother, I just want to check on the house, all right? My life is bums on seats, bums on seats. Yeah, good night, Alex. Fucking Christ's sake's going on out there tonight. I've got you three nights here and two gigs a week for the next two weeks. If I can't break you over here, nobody can. You all right? Yeah. Jet lag? So, I mean, you're going to be okay to go on tonight? Yeah, it's a bit rushed, but you've got to grab it when it comes. And there's TV in tonight. Morris says some good things about you, Johnny. Some bad, but life's too short for aggro. I have no patience with aggro. Do you understand me? I see. No, I, just, I had a hand. Chinese, Chinese, was it? Never touched a muck around this area. A few noodles, some glycerin, and any money they spit in it of labor. Look, I've got a few shows to cash before I get back in time for yours. So, you on tonight? Yes or no, John? I'll Is do it. Yeah. Duffield, I'm on my way. Hey, don't do many favors, know what I mean? Yes, I said I'll make it. Look, uh, stay at my pet tonight. I haven't got time to get you sorted. So, so, well, I'll see you later. Did Morris explain the financial side? Well, talk about it tonight. Have a good show. People move further back. Move the crowd for the back. Uh,
the special edition Cavalier Colorado. All these safety features plus central locking, power steering and a CD player. Just in case you feel like a spin. It's the weekend and this man has lost his traveler's checks. And so has he. He hadn't bought American Express traveler's checks, but this man insisted on them. So while this man would get a refund, but not quite yet, he just made one call to American Express while he had to be patient. Why wait when independent research shows American Express provide the fastest weekend refunds almost anywhere in the world? American Express traveler's checks. In every branch of Bradford and Bingley, you'll find one of these. You'll find one of these. Bob is one of our highly qualified financial experts. Aren't you, Bob? That's right. He'll look at the wide choice of plans we offer, savings accounts, pensions, unit trusts, that sort of thing, and then recommend what he believes is absolutely right for you. We think most people will find his help invaluable. Don't we, Mr. Bingley? <laughs> Expert advice on savings and investments from Bradford and Bingley. And Bob. For me, the best hair color is a color with superb shine and a color that lasts. Now I found it. Casting by L'Oreal, the new tone-on-tone -tone shampoo in colorant. Casting, just twist and apply, so easy to use. Casting, so gentle with no ammonia. Casting from L'Oreal, the new deep shine color that lasts. Casting makes my natural hair color more beautiful than ever, and it lasts. Casting, the new deep shine colorant from L'Oreal. Nowadays, no one thinks twice about insuring the family car. Yet you could insure a family of four's health from as little as £33.80 a month. Call Healthcare Free on 0800 424242. 4242. Norwich Union. We'll keep you in the best of healthcare. I've been asked to stand in for a friend. Well, friend of a friend, really. Oh, heck, I hardly know the bloke. <laughs> yep, you. Yeah, I just called it. Bang, 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 ran away. Ribbons and Piccadilly had it dying, Charlie. Oh, are you pissing in there again? Oh. You're disgusting. Oh, young beauty. This place stinks like a toilet. In fact, this entire place is a Anyone toilet. Anyone should complain, and it's me, the women having to share the same dressing room. You can't use the ladies, it's Jack. We'll write to the Guardian about it. They like your act. Only ones who can understand what you're blithering on about. Cops everywhere. They question you, Graham. I'm having a ball in that strip club. Never seen so many tarts in the run. Uh, excuse me, madam. Uh, we're hunting for a gunman. Do you mind putting your clothes on so we can... Hiya, how's Phoenix? Absolutely super. Whoa. Could I have some space? I'm oh, oh, No. As well as the unknown, untried, well, okay. untested Johnny Lazar. Oh, look at this, eh? Oh, Alex is a slime bag. He said I could replace Billy Boyle. I'll tell you something. That bastard Duffield's running these such... Jealousy. <laughs> Big mouth. I hear it's sold out tonight. I'm going for a sandwich. Does anybody want anything? Oh, yeah. Can, can you give me a uh, chicken and salad and uh, a chalky bar with a fruit nuts? And by the way, I think Brian Duffield's a very decent, honest, upright human being. <laughs> Shouldn't have asked. Graham, anything for you? I bet a material. Is Nola having a scene with the management then? You'd think she'd be on the bill if she wasn't. Alex? Alex? What time is it? Um, it was nearly ten o'clock. I was just about to make a sneaky phone call home. <laughs> Where's home? Belfast. Don't let me stop you. Is there a shower backstage? <laughs> you must be joking. There's no backstage. Oh, and I wouldn't use the wash basin of the... Oh, she's... she's engaged. Uh, 
Are you Johnny Lazar? Yeah. Flip, I better go back and change. Uh, you know, there's tea and coffee backstage. You can brew it if you want. No, that's all right. I'll just grab a cup. You want anything? Uh, no. Hang up. I've almost had a search party out for you. Jesus, it's hot. We need air conditioning. Hey, Nula, love, do us a favour, will you? Take this tray to the bar and get somebody backstage to grab all the dirty glasses we're filling up. Look, uh, we've got a table full from the BBC on the front row, right? If they're a bit po-faced, it means nothing. Ah, but there is a couple of regular hecklers in. Duffield said to warn you. Hey, are you all right? This be having you then if you're coming. Show's already started. It's full house, so it's standing room only. Just Pay at the bottom, all right? The area now, full house, I'm afraid. Standing room only. Pay at the bottom when you go down, all right? There you go. Yeah. Do you remember that business down the road? There's a shootout a few yards down the road. Geezer called Johnny Fratelli, had three bullets pumped into him. It's getting more and more like New York. Haven't you been there? Me? Nah. As far as I got was Marbella. Johnny Fratelli is a big time villain. Fratelli, the Italian? Yeah, get some clapping. You want a drink? Not on duty. <laughs> but thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah, what'd you say your name was? Johnny. Johnny Lazar. Tommy, you need anything? I'm your man. I, I didn't say anything. Know what I mean? I want the towels. Spot this. I can uh, get the other. <laughs> thanks, Tommy. Sorry. Don't apologise. Nobody else does. This is liberation, you see. Over there. You on tonight? Yep. Costume, is it? You've been up there? Yeah. Died a death, dear. But Fatso's still going strong. Well, as strong as is possible with his minuscule talent. Yours is big. <laughs> Probably a lot bigger than yours, sweetheart. Mm. Are they flex at all? Drop your pants, come on. I need a bit of excitement around here. Let's see what you're carrying. How's that? I was only joking. She doesn't mean it, you know. Mean what? Mean fat and ugly? Big mouth? She's a pig. We got those in New York. Our only talents being fat and ugly. A man whose comedy matches his name. Let's hear it for Nigel Perfect. He's popular. He's also a first-rate stand-up comic. Nice chicken. They booed him off. Yeah, they, they, they do every show. It's becoming a bit of a cult. Hot from Butlin's summer camp. <laughs> You know, there's T-shirts and things in what's laughably called the lost property box in the corridor. Where are you going? Yeah, I think I'll stick around out front for a while. Well, maybe I'll um, see you later, huh? Maybe. He couldn't do better. <laughs> He's perfect. Completely perfect. In fact, he'd make a better headmaster than me. I'm crap. Of course, it's not easy being perfect. School, the kids would come up and ask to be bullied by me. <laughs> you know, it's been chemically proven in clinical trials that everyone's bum hole smells the same. <laughs> Except mine. <laughs> mine smells of... gardenias. <laughs> because I'm perfect. It's just that everything else around me isn't perfect. The Labour Party, which will be doing something to make this a more perfect world, is hopelessly old-fashioned. It's dominated by men, and the future doesn't look any brighter for women. Everyone's talking about one member, one vote. No cock, no vote. <laughs> right, lads, motion five, resolution six. Let's have a show of knobs. All those in favour? What's that, darling? A clitoris? Never heard of it. Somewhere in Greece, isn't it? <laughs> Of course, there are certain questions that should be asked in a perfect world, like, is it true there's a chemical in lean cuisines that makes you crave two Mars bars straight after eating one? 
Yeah, he was apparently shot three times. Oh, that's right, yeah. Is he still alive, the guy? Piss me off! And they never got the guy that had double loose. No idea what it's like for a woman. Smile at him and wait. Wait, can I make sure after the pages? You know what I'm saying. Oh, God, is everybody getting a meat tonight? Dead people. <laughs> Aren't dead people bastards? They really piss me off. They never call, they never write, they never get around in. You can stand by, you've got two minutes. Cheers. Have you noticed how many bastards? Hey, hey. hey. Listen, I hope you know what you're doing, pal. That's Nigel's shirt. He's going to go daft when he sees that. He's got a gig later on. You keep the noise down. <laughs> you ain't heard nothing yet. And you know what objects were utter bastards, aren't they? <laughs> As I said, my name is Perfect, Nigel Perfect, and I'm absolutely perfect. I'm so perfect, and I just went to finish. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Nigel Perfect! I really got him tonight. Yes! yes! <laughs> That's my shirt. Yeah, what's fun to do? What's this shirt? You talking to me? Yeah, that shirt, and I am talking to you. I need that for later, and I get it off. Do you not think it can suit some of them? No, it doesn't suit them. In my place, in my plastic wardrobe, in my plastic hanger, now get it off! It's just a shirt, come on, lighten up, won't you? I don't care if you go and bollock naked, now get it off! Stan Michael or Hamlet? It's Stan Michael or Hamlet. This is my shirt. Oh, hey, Gettles, now no scratch. You ripped it. You tore it. You tore it. I ripped it, you ripped it. You ripped my shirt, you ripped my shirt, and get it off! Get off! Hey, 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 come on! Jesus! Oh! <laughs> Who's that guy? Here it is. Hmm? <laughs> Who's that bastard wearing my shirt? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Nigel. Look at this. It's for me. We've got a great act coming on. He's American. Make some room at the bar because I want to watch him myself. He's very dark, very dangerous, very bizarre. His name is Johnny Lazar! <laughs> It's days since I see you. I've been working, Mama. Listen, anybody call for me? Oh. There have been any messages? And how are you feeling? It takes too long to tell you. <laughs> and I'm worrying about you. Mama, I'm doing fine. Just what? It's what you're doing worries me. It worries your sisters, your brothers. You're going bad. And I don't believe it takes three days to do hair extensions. <laughs> I'll bring you a cup of tea. Go back to bed. Go. Go, please, Mama. I soon come. <laughs> Look, I go on a date. It's 25 for the meal, 15 for the movies, 10 for the cab. Now, I can't enjoy the meal or the movies because I don't know if I'm going to get laid. I give a hooker 25. She sucks my dick. <laughs> and you have to go down on her first to get it. Oh, oh, Johnny, that's not a meaningful relationship. Women want love and tenderness and half my house when I piss him off. He's got great potential. Yeah, he's what going do down well. Literature? Does he write his own material? Literature? Mr. Pope, etc. Look, can I borrow your phone? It's local. A better class of pussy. <laughs> Like, no, 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 you see a woman reading Jane Austen, you know she has clean Jesus teeth. Alex, he's wearing a nice shirt. Through a woman reading anything by Mickey Spillane, you're gonna be slipping and sliding like a dog on an ice rink. <laughs> art films, art films are just the same. They're just porn with a plot. I'm sitting there going, quit the existential crap and screw here. We know life is shit, exchange fluids. <laughs> Go. Home sweet home. I don't know how I can eat that much. What would you like to drink, Johnny? Sit down, sit down. What would you like to drink? Uh, coke, just coke. Good. 
You really blew them away tonight, Johnny. Do you know that? Yeah, you really had them. Now, don't underestimate that club. A lot of talents come from there. So just uh, mind the car for today. I don't want any uh, ketchup on it. Yep, a lot of talents come from that club. Young ones, Rick Mail, Aid Edmondson. Never heard of them. Rowan Atkinson, Ben Elton. Sorry. Well, the reason I threw you on tonight, not just the BBC bunch. Well, what's the BBC? You never heard of the BBC? Well, I heard of CBS. You got any cigarettes? Yeah, in a box on the table by the lamp. Ah, you did well tonight, Johnny. But 200 quid's not going to go far. And you won't be paid any more from any of the other clubs. You get more from the university and college gigs. See, breaking someone, it needs time, it needs money, and most of all, it needs exposure. I'm seeing someone tomorrow about getting you on the Des O'Connor show. You've heard of Des O'Connor? No. Well, he gives breaks to new comics. I'll have you working the entire 12 weeks over each weekend. Are you with me? I'm sorry, I'm a little jet lagged. Oh, yeah, you must be whacked. I'll show it to your room. Carpet. Kitchen. And if you want, you just help yourself. There's a bathroom en suite, so that's about everything you need. You married Johnny, yes or no? Uh, TV. Yeah, there's one up here in your bedroom. Have you got a head for heights? So, this is it. Crash out of the talk in the morning. Good night, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, I sought your place to stay out in the morning, yeah? Oh, that's okay. This will do for me. It's a joke. Oh, yes. What are you looking for? Mm. It's chocolate, anything sweet. Mm -hmm. mm, Duffield's generous. He lets everybody stay here. No. You're a permanent fixture, then? In a way. I still have my own place, though. Well, I spend more time here than now. <sighs> Brian was in property before showbiz. This is one of his investments. It's his mother's, I think. So can you show me how the TV works in my room? There won't be much on, or not at this hour. Martin! Martin! That's about it, I'm afraid. What are you doing? It's just in certain positions with that lamp. Make sure. Shirt totally see through. It's, it's just a joke. I've heard you tread a fine line. You better watch you don't fall over it. I better go. I don't think Brian would find this too amusing. I think you'll find she just keeps on walking. TV. I'm Jackie Harper. The main headline this morning is the shooting last night near Piccadilly Circus in central London of club owner John Fratelli. 
Fratelli, who's 52 and married with two children, was shot three times at point-blank range by a hooded gunman. The gunman was wearing a grey tracksuit. This report from Sue Saville. The shooting took place here, right in the centre of the West End. The area was, and still is, crowded with people heading down Shaftesbury Avenue, the heart of theatre land. A wounded man was seen running from the incident through Chinatown. Madam, I believe you saw the man police wish to interview. Yes, yes, I did. He was just standing there. He, he had blood here on his shirt, and then he ran off. The man is described as white, 20 to 30 years old, and wearing a black leather biker's jacket. Oh, Police man, are requesting anyone who saw this man to come forward. Mm. Hi, good morning. Do you want coffee? Brian said you'd probably sleep in late. Listen, he's had a breakfast meeting, so he shouldn't be too long. Back in a minute. There you go. No. Right. Oh, do you want bacon, eggs, toast? Listen, I gotta go because I work part time. Uh, will you, do you want anything to eat? Is this still the news? No. Uh. You'll be all right. I'll see you tonight. <clears throat> so, how long you been with Duffy? A while. And so, how come you gotta work part time? I like my independence. Any more questions? There's a washing machine if you want to do a wash. Over live to our reporter outside the hospital in central London. Fratelli is a well known figure in the world of West End clubs and arcades and has substantial business interests here and abroad. This morning, doctors were describing his condition as critical following a Welcome lengthy operation London. overnight <laughs> to remove. You know, that happened just around the corner from Hot Spots. Hi, he's in the kitchen uh, having uh, breakfast. Just do me a favour. I've had such a lot on, I haven't had time to sort out a place for him to stay, and I was wondering, as you're here most of the time and your flat's empty... I don't think that's a very good idea, Brian. Nula, Nula, I am not that flush. I'll cover the rent for the entire 12 weeks. Won't be longer, I promise. It'll save me a lot of hassle. Look, I'll think about it. No, I'm going to be late, Just Brian. don't think about it. Yes or no? I can run him there this morning. I'll give him the spare set of keys. Mm. Take you for dinner after the show. Yeah? Look, take this in lieu of rent. Buy yourself something really nice. Hmm? Johnny! How's the jet lag? Had breakfast? Okay. Let's go. Why can't you just tell me what's going on? I mean, what am I supposed to have done? Shit. I'll check out this place. You scare the bollocks off him. Can somebody go and look after my mum? Go and look after my mum! I'll clear a few things at the office, then get you and your gear dropped off. Jeez, you smoke too much. Park Lane. Yep. Morning, Brian. I'll be there in about 15 minutes. Can you get the photographs and contracts for Saturday Night Live on a bike? Get them over to ICM. Any word on the festival yet? Leave, leave it, John. Sorry, leave it. What, 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 who wants what? Graham Redcar. Something about a tour he's been offered. Yeah, tell him I'll have a quick chat. Graham Redcar Tunnel's twat. Won't take no for an answer. Yeah, hold on, Lucinda. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're coming up to Marble Arch. Wow, fantastic. Yeah, Stephen, I paid when they sent me the form, all right? If they want to charge me for late payments, then it's not coming out of my pocket. I mean, that's what I pay you for, yes? You're my accountant. If you'd have said, Brian, you're late on the VAT, shit! <sighs> yeah, are you still there? Christ, every time they say they save you five grand, they pump up their feet. Brian, are you still there? Yeah. There's a problem with your being. Yes, Lucid, I was just talking to him. Tell me something I don't know, for Christ's sake. Look out for him either, Johnny. Sorry, who do you want to meet? What? Check this out. OK, sure. No, we're doing carpet, too. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, everything you want. Oi! Something into the ball cock here. I'll do it, I'll do it. Instead of a briefcase. No, sir. Oh, shit. I got a nose for this. Yep. Right, tag it, bag it, and I'm out of here. 
Morning, Lucinda. Morning, Brian. I've put your messages on the desk, and these are the files you wanted. Is he still waiting? I'm afraid so. This is Johnny Lazar. Talk to him about a photo session. I'll be two minutes, Johnny. Set it up with Mel. Graham, <laughs> sorry to keep you waiting. I'd held up. Thanks for waiting. Do you want coffee? Mm. Yes, I'd like to order a bite, please. Uh, news, I want to watch the news. See facts. As soon as possible, thank you. This is all a bit out of your league, isn't it? I don't know what league I'm supposed to be in. I mean, what am I here for? I'm Detective Inspector Cloaks. This is DC Herald. Right, I just want to talk to you, Delroy. No recording, not yet. Just want to iron a few things out. Yeah. We received an anonymous tip-off about you. Yeah? From who? Anonymous, Delroy. Said some very interesting things about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was my sister, wasn't it? Huh? I mean, was it my sister? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, what she said about me. Oh, no, I don't believe this, man. Listen. All right, she knew about the cash in the toilet system, all right? What? She said I nicked it. I don't believe this, man. The bitch called you. So what I need to know, Delroy, is uh, where you were last night at 9.30, because you're not in here for a bit of thieving. This is serious. Last night, Thursday, well, um, I was up the West End, all right? Look. My sister's got it in for me, all right? My sister hates me. Now, was it her? All right, then. Then, um, then, then, um, was it someone called, um, Jolene Easter? Exactly where yeah. in the West End? Well, all over, man. I was doing some collecting. That's not against the law, is it? Look, all right? I don't know what it is you think I've done, all right? But I ain't done it. And that money in the toilet... Just tell me where you were. And if you've got anyone to corroborate, give you an alibi. Um, I was at Rick's bar, and 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 then I was at Mandy Dole's, and and then I was at. Look, why don't you just tell me, all right? I mean, what's this all about? Because I got a load of people who can tell you exactly where I was. I was moving around. Clubs around Piccadilly. Oh, come on, it was Jolene Easter, wasn't it? Huh? huh? See, because I just dumped her, and she hates me. It was her, wasn't it? Huh? Or then was it Doreen? Exactly yeah? where in the West? Ah, it was Doreen, wasn't so it? So I need the names. It was Doreen, was it? It was Doreen, you saw them? Oh, no, 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 no. Chinatown. No. 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 You don't think I had anything to do with that shooting, do you? Because I had... I had nothing, nothing to do with that. All right? See, uh, I don't believe this is going down. Oh, come on. Come on, you... You gotta be kidding me. Let him make his phone call. Get him a brief. Cinquecento and the city were made for each other.
what is reality? Can a photo really be this good? So real, it's unreal. New Fujikala Super G. The grains are finer, the pictures are sharper. New Fujikala Super G. So real, it's unreal. how to make perfect smoked salmon and scrambled eggs. Enough for two. Cut four ounces of Sainsbury's smoked salmon into strips. Add two tablespoons of single cream and leave for 10 minutes. Now crack four eggs into a bowl, whisk and season. Next, take a good knob of butter and melt in a pan. When hot, add the eggs. Stir until they begin to get firm, add the salmon, and keep stirring until almost set. Remove from heat and stir in another knob of butter, and serve immediately with Sainsbury's toasted bagels and garnish with chopped chives. And if you want a special treat, try a glass of Sainsbury's champagne too. It really puts the top hat on it. Sainsbury's, everyone's favorite ingredient. Five ten. 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 Five ten.
I see you've made yourself at home. Did Brian show you where everything is? As you're here, I've brought some extra cat food. Can I trust you to feed my cat? Sure. Good. What's it called? It is called Ella. Ella, where are you? She gets one of these a day. Give her half in the morning and half at night. Okay? Ella, oh, there you are. Where have you been? I heard you signed with Brian. Hey, you know if I can hire a bike, you know, a motorcycle? No, sorry. Brian doesn't sign up many, you know. He hates to part with a penny. Shh, crabby. Right, I'll show you where things are, okay? Why do you call her Ella? Because she's big, black, and very vocal. Right. Clean sheets, towels in here. There's a nice girl who lives upstairs called Felix. Oh, yeah, if you want milk delivered, put the empty bottles on the doorstep, not back in the fridge. If you bring anyone back, frankly, I'd prefer it if you didn't. But if you do, this is my place, so just give it some respect, OK? You know, you never answer questions. I can't tell if you're actually listening, you're taking anything in, or, or just bloody rude. Oh, it all goes in. It's stored it's just from here to here, and it takes a while to adjust. Right. I'll clear some space here so you can put your things. Oh, it's all right. I'm, I don't have anything. It's like Duffield. He talks so fast. You know what I mean, Johnny? You with me, Johnny? I don't understand half what he says. Right. Listen, I'll leave you to your TV. Keys. Ella. Ella. You got cable? You must be joking. I don't even have a video recorder. Grumpy. Hello. Hello, beautiful. I love cats. You know, I was I was raised by a woman named Ella. Big, black, and vocal. She took me one well, of the mom. shampoo and deodorant in the bathroom. Oh, I'll see you tonight, okay? Bye. Police have stepped up the hunt for Don Fratelli's killer. They're especially interested in tracing the man seen running through Gerard Street and have released this photo fit of the man they wish to interview. Anyone with information should call this number. What are you doing? Hey! They got the bloke that done it. Picked him up this afternoon. That shoot him. I said it was gangland, didn't I? But I got him. He drugs. Oh, I'm just getting a bit shook up. No, it's all right, boy. Have a good time. They can go into Thailand because the grass there is really going to blow your head, man. He's good, isn't he? Even if he is wearing my T-shirt. I must say, Newly, you don't waste any time. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> your nose out of joint, is it? Mm. So more than a foul mouth. I'm sorry, I don't know what's coming next. <laughs> That's my game. I used that gag last night. Jesus, if I just shut and know your gag in, he's getting a bigger laugh on it as well. What a bastard. <laughs> See you up front, Newland. Hey, Duffield, you get your clients to use their own material. He's just whipped one of my gags. Tommy Cooper's before you. Oh, yeah. All right. America. See ya. Mm. Jesus. You're sick, please. So, present it as a package, OK? Whole series. Great, fine. My pleasure. Look, I guarantee six half-hour series of us are hosting. OK, house band all set in the club. Good atmosphere. I'll tell you who would go down well, Nula. The blonde girl, the police bond. Goldie Horn. No, 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 the other one. Jenny Clare. Yeah, yeah, she'd be good. Well, we need someone yeah. really fills me with confidence. Taxi! Hey, taxi! Where do you want to go? Holland Park. Holland Park, OK. Yeah, great. OK, 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 Do you know they're shooting the other night? Come on, you Tedesco! Oh, come on, Johnny. Our brand will get paranoid and think we're talking about... Come on, what are we waiting for? A big break. What the hell do you think? So, breakfast with Jonathan Ross's researcher. I want to get some TV coverage before I came to Channel 4 deal. And then there's lunch with Des O'Connor's researcher, Johnny. Johnny? I think 
he's asleep. No wonder she's getting fat. You're feeding her. I'm feeding her. Nuna must have forgotten to tell me. I'm Felix. Who are you? Felix. I'm Johnny. I'm here for a couple of weeks. You look like you're a Brenner. <laughs> you like it? I had it done for a modeling job. It's like a pulse. Can I use your shop? Honey, mine's not working. Yeah. Do you know where there's a shopping mall? I wouldn't exactly call it a mall, but out the door, straight down the street, is a corner shop. They got everything you need. Wasn't he? Half an hour. He wanted the money the police took. And I told him. I said they took it. You don't let him, any of that mob in the flat. Mom, just keep the chain on the door. Oh, God. I never thought I would get him into such trouble. He didn't do it, Mama. You and I know it. They'll release him. <laughs> and maybe this really will straighten him out. place last weekend. That freaking Camden lock brings all the crap here. You better call Nula. I'll call the cops from my place. Oh Christ, they might have done my place! Aren't every man in the lineup wearing a similar tracksuit, Inspector, and the same colour? Otherwise I'm gonna have to refuse. They're all black and they're all wearing grey tracksuits, all right? All right. Transport's ready, Gov. Good. Minutes, uh, get him ready for the lineup. Darryl, I'm with get the cars. Changed, can you wait outside, please? didn't do it. Well, you better find some more names for your alibis on Thursday night. I mean, so far, not one yeah, of them... Yeah, and you know why? Because all of them are paying me off in a protection racket, and any one of them would love to see me screwed. But it's not my dough, Miss Swindley. I just collect it. Well, if you won't tell the police who you oh, work for... Oh, yeah, right! I'll start naming names, and they'll come after me. I didn't do it, all right? I didn't do it. They found cartridges. They also found some illegal substances. It's not mine. I never touched the stuff. Well, you honestly expect them to believe it was your mother's? <laughs> See, this is down to my sister. My sister hates me. Or it could have been that slag Jolene Easter. She hates me and all. And what about the cartridges? Are they your mother's? Look, I don't know where I got them. And I've had them for months, years, all right? Well, this is wicked. If there is a weapon in your flat, Daryl, you better tell me. And you better straighten out with me. Do you have a gun? I never had the money to buy a shooter. Oh, come on. I didn't do it. Oi, can we get on with this? 
Yeah. We had the tracksuit checked over. There was nothing. Well, he could have worn gloves, so he wouldn't necessarily have left any powder marks. Peter Marino. They want me for the identification lineup. Can I park in there? Oh, I'm sorry, that's registered vehicles only in there, sir. Look, uh, there's an NCP just down there around the corner. Okay. What about the ammunition? Two two. Same as we found at Smith's. Nice right, bullet entered back of the neck, spinal column, right thigh. The bullet in the back of the neck was just a fraction out. Otherwise, he wouldn't have lasted ten minutes. Like the killer knew what he was doing. It's a very professional hit, pistol combat shooting. We got a punk kid that's been banged up for possession of two grams. Oi! What's the bloody delay? We've been here half an hour. Look, I won't know what's missing until I've checked. But, you know, this is getting ridiculous. It's almost every weekend someone around here gets turned over. They haven't taken this. Found it under your bed, but it's been opened. Money. They probably yeah. just wanted money. Has, has anything of yours gone? No, I'm wearing everything again. Well, at least they didn't spill paint or crap over the bed. Shit, Ella! Ella! Oh, sweet, okay? I'm sorry, I got here as soon as I... Jesus! Wept! What have the pricks taken? Well, that's what's so crazy. Nothing, as far as I can tell. I mean, I don't have much, but look, there's gold oh, bracelets oh, and... A... Darling, I'm oh, so there sorry. she is. Oh, sorry, just keep um, the cat away from me. I've got an allergy. Oh, hmm? baby. Oh, it's nearly went very, very well. Have they taken anything of yours? No. I would... Darling, darling, do you want to go somewhere nice for lunch? No, I don't want to go somewhere nice for lunch. I just want my flat back together. Yeah, sure, sure. No, Look, I'd like to stay, but I'd better get a move on. Johnny, can you give her a hand? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, walk me down to the car. Breakfast meeting went very, very well. The researcher for the Ross show, she's in tonight. Now, the Desert Connor gig might not work out. No luck so far, but the last woman's being brought in now. Well, no one's asked for a closer look, then. Afraid not. Marina been wheeled in yet? Uh-uh. Oh, shit, I got a terrible headache. Everybody stand up, please. Oh, they're all black. Oh. Can you ask them to lift their hands up? Hold them up in front. Raise both your arms, hands together, just at chin level, as if you're holding a gun. Eight. Please, all keep your arms raised. Thank you. I'm not sure it could be. He's sort of familiar. I can't be sure, I'm sorry. I want to change the lineup, please. You can change your position if you wish. Okay, thanks. Just take your time. Can you get number four to call out Johnny? Johnny! Johnny. Could you call it out louder, please? Johnny! I think it's him. Yeah. Number eight. You want a closer look? Eight. D. 
Delroy Smith's been picked out by Peter Marino. Not charging him, not yet. Let's just get a three day lay down, give us more time. Smith was working for uh, Harper Knowles, bring him in. Boy. No, he's the kind you buy, so take a look, take a good look. He'd sell his own mother, he'd sell his kid. They make a lousy witness. We gotta get the other fella, the guy that did the runner. The man arrested in connection with the shooting well, of Don Fratelli has been named thing. as Delroy Smith. What for? Smith was taken this afternoon from Soho Central Police Station to Charing Cross Magistrates Court for an extended custody hearing. Who's no white? Charges have been brought Who's white for Christ? Police still wish to interview the man Shh. seen running from the incident and have released this artist's impression of him. He's described as white. Open your eyes to a different kind of car. Stretch your imagination to espouse versatility. Turn your thoughts to espouse innovation. Broaden your vision to the Renault Espace. For the thick cut chip, with the big potato taste, there's nothing like the real McCoy. I invited the neighbors over. Think they'll come? They'll come. The real McCoy. The big chip from the big country. Wrigley Spearmint Gum. Great to chew. Even better to share. Now don't you wait. Oh, hesitate. Let's move before they raise the pocket rate. Ow! All right. Cool, refreshing Wrigley Spearmint Gum. Thank you, Ambassador. Night, Jim. Get him to move, sir. I'll do it, Buff. <laughs> sir! Sir! Did you make your phone call, sir? I had a word with the ambassador, yes. I found Barclay Card, sir. No, oh, please. International Rescue, sir. They got me a lawyer. An English speaking lawyer, sir. Well, I'm being seen personally by the Minister of Justice. Can I help you? Ooh, dry white wine, please. I'm afraid the bars are closed. Bye. And you be call me melancholy, baby, cause the rain is coming down. Oh, yeah. Don't stop, don't stop. It's gorgeous. My ears want to marry your music. Your singing really moves me, son. You know that? Right, right here, just in my wallet. I want you to sign this recording card. What's that? Heineken, Heineken, Schmeineken, champagne, caviar, truffle, silk underwear, fluffy pillows, French cheddar woman. You like my suit? It's yours. You look like a million bucks. My ears can smell major recording talent a mile away, son. You like the limo. It's yours. I'm hurting. Oh, yes, I'm hurting so bad.
dons feel they have to write about deep well, lesbian I'm relationships. Three interviews today. Not the one the because they want me to take the empty glasses back to the bar. Carried a shovel and was sprouting a pussy in the sky. So can you keep it down during the hour? It's gay. So you didn't get the part? No. Felicity Kendall. Colin. Fifteen minutes to the first show. I might have got a commercial for Curly Whirlies. Yeah. The spot was supposed to follow the artist, not the other way around. Last night it was centred on the edge of the stage. The entire front row could have been on with me. Look at this. Police are still desperate to trace the man who was last seen running towards Chinatown. The boss is probably trying to get a deal with Duffield. If you face it. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm crazy. We go out there and talk. Well, when's the last time you went to the car after that? All right. Hey, uh, mine's a pint, big man. Stay put. I'll get the orders. Tell okay. Who's what? having what? I'm just not bound to this year. I guess I'm going to pass. Anything for you, Nigel? Don't look at me. Mine's a pair. Ice and lemon. Oh, love it. Went to San Marino in a white towel. Two minutes, two minutes, please. Okay, hold nothing back, right? Now, the stage right. The best last night, Channel 4 people, now you've got a great house day, a humming. The yellow field shirt, wear it, looked great. Love that rough hanging off, fantastic. Ryan, can I have a quick two seconds? Johnny, Johnny, yep. I think I might have got a commercial this afternoon. Okay. Big night. I'll get your own special out of this night and feel it. Pass! <laughs> It is not a laugh, it's a man! <laughs> The man who actually put his hand in a woodpecker's hole. <laughs> it is the one, the lonely, Graham Red Car. Let's hear it. Thank you very much, thank you. Well, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, all the world's a stage, and the men and women are the players, aren't they? Yeah. So tonight, my friend and I, Beryl, will perform the mad scene from Hamlet. I will play the prince, I'll play the prince, and Beryl here will interpret the tragic Ophelia, a role which has brought her from obscurity to... <laughs> Beryl, what are you doing? Concentrate. Where's your eye gone? Have you swallowed it? Beryl, where is it? Have you got it? Thank you very much. Sorry about that, isn't it? Right, from the top, please, Beryl. Speak to the speech I pray you. Trippingly. To be or not to be? That is a question. I see. But, uh, yes, but what's the answer, Beryl? What's the answer? Get oh, off, you rabbit! I don't know! Oh, you're not very clever then, are you? Beryl, what are you... What are you doing? Get thee to a nunnery. Get thee to a nunnery! Get thee to a nunnery! <laughs> No, I need to know that man was an inspiration to me. I would willingly give him My a blow. My God. I would blow. You've got a nerve. That's all right, it's a rental. Five pounds. As long as I don't damage the frills. You know, you come on as not caring. Do you really want it, don't you? Want what? Want to put the bulb in, want to find an Irish, want to find a confession. Just forget it. What's red and white and screen? I wish people wouldn't be so bloody two-faced. Everyone wants it. Once what? Oh, what the hell do you think? Success, big time. I don't know why I bother. Maybe you shouldn't. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. It's tough to be funny if you're beautiful. Comedy's ugly. It stinks. It's hard. It's cruel. It is finally... And now, Destructive. from the perfect British comic to the perfect American comic, he's been here before, let's hear it for the dark. Here's Johnny. Johnny Lizard. Let's hear it! Uh, I had them eating out of this. Duffield's cronies were falling out their friggin' seats. The two chicks were creaming themselves. They love me! Shh! I want to hear him. Just visited by aliens, we had a conversation. 
You know you're in. Come out from behind the sofa. We deliver it a message. Carries on like that. Be on the next flight back. Why don't you use last night's material? Suffering and hell, we have the power. You see red car. Hopping around the VIP's table like a mosquito. What did he say? I miss what he said. You can't miss him. He's wearing a frilly yellow shirt, but it's him. Show's almost over. He'll be out in 10, 15 minutes. You want me to do the taxi rank? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'll walk with you. Sure. Hey, you think you're better for the ozone layer, Nigel? Mm -hmm. I like a stiff one. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Because I'll be spraying the tanger, I might get lucky in the back of the taxi tonight. Piss it off. <laughs> taxi! See, with it and the agent, I mean, I've just got to take the best deal that I can get. And all those uh, Channel 4 people, how the hell are they going to get in touch with me, eh? Through Spotlight. Well, you can write. I write 20 a week, whether I'm working or not. Letters, photographs. I can't afford the stamps. OK, this one's ours. Anyone going in the direction of the Savoy? Anyone going in the direction of the Savoy? No? Call it tomorrow. Now, you did all right, Johnny. You did more than all right. But we've got to set up a photo session. Get some decent gear, classy stuff, some good moody shots. OK, fine, if that's what you want. And you got to want just as much, Johnny. You with me? Yeah, 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 I hear you, man. Decent gear, nice, classy stuff, good moody shots. Not a very friendly sod, is he? I tell you, new these guys, if I was to tell them that I got them 10 weeks at Las Vegas Club, they could not crack their faces. Des O'Connor is hardly a ten-week Las Vegas stint, Brian. Well, two points, Nula. First, he's not doing the Des O'Connor show because Des is trying to make it in the States. But I've got him on Michael Aspel's new show. Secondly, don't give me any out group because it's taken me a lot of hard graft, OK? Huh? Yeah, these deals, they don't just happen. The doctor said I wasn't to let anyone in. What are you looking for this time? Sorry, Gov. What? Super wants you upstairs. It's uh, Fratelli and his brief. 
What do you want? What's an update? An update? Chief sod. But this suspect has not been charged with John Fratelli's murder. In the briefcase? It's not been handed in. If it had, we would, of course, have informed Mr. Fratelli. There were £60,000 in the case. I have the details from the bank. The notes have been circulated, sir. There was money found at the suspects. This Delroy Smith's, is that correct? Is, uh, were you aware of the amount of cash your cousin was carrying that evening? Inspector, my cousin often carried large sums of money. I am... Um, was not aware that in the night in question... But you have stated that you were with him earlier in the day. So you, you could have known. Yeah. But on this occasion, I didn't. Mm. Miss Mobile, could you let us have a copy of the company's contact sheets, please? If the phone was stolen with the money, you never know. Somebody could be stupid enough to, uh, to use it. <laughs> the numbers can be traced. I can assure you every possible avenue is being taken was by... Was Delroy Smith's home searched? Thoroughly searched? Smith's flat was searched. Personally. No insult intended. A search done in the heat of an arrest is often unsatisfactory. I'm sure I don't need to mention the recent tragedy when the police nice overlooked nice, nice, nice. something as dead simple as a briefcase. Oh, well, I'm a second search, if that will satisfy you. And I assure you that I will endeavour to keep Mr. Fratelli informed in so You far will as keep me informed too, won't you, Gov? And you mind if I go? I've got something in from West End Central. I'm not charging Smith yet. Not until I've got enough evidence. Right. in the car and never got the message. John is just feeding the meter. Have they told you anything? No. Just that they found him last night. He didn't turn up for the gig at the Savoy. But nobody seems to know what happened. Just that somebody knifed him. Jesus Christ. Would you take Colin home? He's in an awful state. Who's in there? Colin. Hmm? Is Nigel in there? We'll take him to get some of Nigel's things. with you. Excuse me. That's his boyfriend. Oh, you know he was going. Yeah, probably picked up the wrong time. I'm not his agent. Funny thing is, I was thinking about signing him up. <laughs> not another mark on him. Not so much as a bruise. See? It's just the one cut. Straight across the artery. It's bloody professional. His name's Nigel Perfect. That's a stage name. His real name's Nigel Parrington. He's a stand-up comic. Not a lot of love's gone down from now. Go. Oh. Arthur Knowles. He runs a protection racket around clubs in Soho. Well, if Smith was working for him. Good. I want a search warrant reissue for Smith's place. This time I want it torn apart. That means floorboards up the lot. Any damage costs, put it in the boss's desk. What about Arthur Knowles? Well, we got to charge Smith today or release him. Bring the bastard in and wait. Still haven't found that bloody witness yet. This is Mike Shawley. I'm going to bring him in on the team, run the two investigations side by side. Have a word with him. I'll be back at base. Do you want to have a look? He was a comic. That's a real pro job, that.
Well, what's this then, Baza? What you asked for. Hamburger, french fries and... What do you think this is? A hotel. I want to see my solicitor. I mean, you guys gonna charge me on what? Cunt. Oi! Eight sixty two. You want a cup of coffee? No, um I I want something stronger. Look, there's a bottle of white wine in the fridge, where it just I just... I just can't get over it. they tell you what happened? No. Oh, God, I just keep on seeing him in the dressing room. You know how fussy he was. Standing in his underpants, ironing a frilly shirt. The one you wore. Did you hear me? Well, I guess you won't mind me wearing it tonight, then. Jeez, that's disgusting. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's, uh... I didn't know him, but I am sorry. Here, you go. You're not having one. So, was he wearing it, the shirt? Why? Do you want to go and get it for the show? Jesus, you're sick. I just asked if he was wearing it. Yes! You know, you're as bad as Brian. He's probably scurrying around now trying to find Nigel's replacement. Makes me sick. Yeah, it's his business. If he didn't do it, somebody else would. He doesn't think of anything else but business. Well, maybe that's why he's so successful. Oh, don't I know it. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing with him half the time. He is supposed to manage me. Yet last night, he had the audacity to say I was getting better. Well, maybe he wants to settle down and make babies. <laughs> I don't know what anybody wants. You're his flavor of the month. I've seen a lot of yous come and go, so wouldn't build your hopes up too high. Well, maybe I've seen a lot of Duffields. And they're all leeches. We need them, they need us. That's life. My sisters are married. My brother's married. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I just wanted something different, huh? So, Mr. Lazar. Been married, divorced, no kids. I'm 29 years old, and I'm broke. <laughs> That's about it, really. Oh, and you want to be a star. Is that what you want or not? When I was brought up, I was the only white kid on the block. I used to want to be like everybody else. Then I grew up. In New York? I've never been to America. I wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> she used to be a dancer. She used to be a singer. She once played on Broadway. She was seen in magazines. Well, now she's seen in the daylight as she's walking down the street. You want to screw or not? Oh, Christ. <laughs> Should I, am I putting out vibes that I fancy you? No, this is my place. I pay the rent. I live here. I'm sorry. I, uh... I just don't know my boundaries, you know what I mean? No. I don't know what you mean. 
King Duffield's my agent. It's okay. You're his chick. I don't belong to anybody. I'm not anybody's property. <clears throat> right, what's going on here, let's? Look, I know it's a long way, but what's going to happen if Mrs Metcalf doesn't get her milk? The kids don't get their cornflakes. Dad doesn't get his porridge. And Mum doesn't get her cup of tea. So come on, lads. Look lively. Wouldn't breakfast be a disaster if you didn't have fresh milk delivered every morning? Well, I don't know what you're laughing at. Auntie Ethel's coming to tea. They want two extra. New Tulux Flexi Cover covers hairline cracks and keeps them covered. Fragrance you're wearing. Exclamation! Make a statement without saying a word. Almonds, the only mayonnaise. Natural Plus Antiperspirant with plant extracts works in harmony with your body. in harmony with your body. Lips back and thugs, pleasure, great taste, and motivating, good buzz and cool talk, and how I walk and fast, love and never give a cool fizzin'. Pepsi. When you need some extra milk, just leave a note out. 48 extra silver cups? Are you kidding? No, are you kidding? Surely, you can have anyone you like. Either we've got the press screaming, I've got them upstairs yelling for results. I've got to have some positive action, Frank. The shooting went down smack in the centre of the West End. So was Mike Shirley's case. So, what's on your desk? This guy was Sony, got? Yeah. I want another warrant organised. Rip Smith's place apart. Governor's already sorted. Now, come inside a moment. How's it looking out there, Kevin? Still up now. Bacon double cheddar cheeseburger, regular cheeseburger, cheeseburger, French fries, Coca Cola, Peking duck, hamster pate, otter flambe. Yours, mine, 
yours. Oh my God, how many did you get? I like them on the hour, every hour. Give me a feed bag filled with ground ground. Oh God, who makes these little bastards? Oh shit. Oh God. Mm. Oh, no, no, that's one of my best towels. Wait, no, that's one of my best oh. towels. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's good. Mm. You want to go dancing one night? Mm. You know, when I was six mm. or seven, I was one of the little cygnets in Swan Lake. <laughs> um, I had the little white tutu and the little dress and the little mm. white satin valley bumps. <laughs> and I was perfectly out of step with all the other little cygnets. <laughs> You know, when Pavlova died, they set up one last performance of Swan Lake. Without her? Mm-hmm. They sold out the theater. Everybody sat in total silence, waited, waited for the orchestra to begin. The lights dimmed, music started, and a single solitary spotlight hit the stage. Pavlova danced one last time, danced in everybody's mind. Is that true? Mm. One critic said it was the best performance she ever gave. <laughs> I believe. <it. laughs> oh shit! No. I bet you that's Brian. Please go in, go in. You go and talk to him, please. Go on, offer him a hamburger, anything. One of yours, please. <laughs> I, look, I just don't want a scene. Do you still respect me? <laughs> Is Nula here with you? Only she's not answering at my place. Yeah, we came here after the morgue. I've had that Colin sobbing all over me. And what can I say? There's only so many times you can keep on saying you're sorry. Beef du jour. Did Lucinda give you the good news? You want mm -hmm. some wine? You just got a lucky break. As was come through, he wants you on his show. He's got all the background material on you. He just want to sort of chat before you go. Oh, look at this. It's crap. It's disgusting. How can you eat this? Nula! You drinking? I love a cup of tea. I've been to the studio's great setup. They want you there at three. Now, Asp was a fantastic straight man. He'll give the floor to you. The researcher, she loved the alien material, so maybe you could do that. But the director and producer, Nula! They were going by Nigel. Lucky break. I'm a genius. I've got it all sorted. He's going on Michael Aspel's new show. You right, love? You're not sick, are you? You haven't eaten one of these. <laughs> What's this? Is it a gherkin? It's a bloody gherkin, Nula. You know, you, you know I hate gherkins. Why'd you buy one with a bloody gherkin in it, for Christ's sake? Photograph on, back under the pillow. Is it your girlfriend? Chinese? You like Chinese, Johnny? We could go to the Golden Squeeze in Fulham or it's preferred as that Peking place. Do you like Peking, Johnny? I love it. All crispy and stuff whacked in the pancakes. Delicious. What do you say, Nilly? What do you fancy? Mmm. Huh? The bloody milk's up, Johnny. Brian. I think I'd just like to go home. Have an early night. <clears throat> well, LWT, three o'clock. I'll get what's the face to arrange a car. I've got meetings over lunch, so I'll be there as soon as I can. Phone, phone, where's my bloody phone? I got it. <laughs> you know who does this is your life? One day, Brian Duffer is going to get the red book. <laughs> Brian, come on. Of course, she needs a right seeing to, and I'm the man to do it. Ah, Tara, Laurie. Sorry. Johnny, <laughs> three o'clock. Thanks for looking after her. Nula, just wait. Ella, 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 Ella. Why? Why do you keep sending people here? Why? What is he supposed to have done now? You, 
You searched here. They've been here. You've done all this today. Mrs. Smith, you saw me find this. Get cloaks in here. OK. You witnessed. I found this. This sucks. You're right. Makes you look like you've got a dropped ass. What else you got? No. Put that on. No, trust me. Dress shirt underneath, no time. Very sexy. Got to outdo Mikey on the image side. Come on, man. I've been here more than an hour. Don't call me man. You'll be out of here if, if you answer my questions. Don't give me any bullshit. Delroy Smith. I don't know him. You want to stay the night? Hey, look. I run a legit car rental business. I buy and sell cars, right? Oh, you do? Go oh, good, good. I'll have every form, every VAT return checked. I'll make your life a misery. Yes! We've just found a shooter at Smith's. Gone straight to ballistics. Nice timing, eh? We can charge him now? He gave Smith an alibi. Where'd you find it? Well, the toilet system. Shit! You got a light? I don't smoke. Gov! Hey, Gov! Oh, what about... No, get rid of him. This is harassment. I'm a legitimate businessman. You tell that bastard. I'm going to report him. Don't fuck up, John. No, no, Thank no. you. No, there's a lot of this going around. It's looking good. Family show. Right. Have a good one. Thanks. Hi. Nula, you coming up in the box? Yeah, I, I just want to wish him good luck first. Yeah, but don't be too long. It starts in five minutes. Okay. They don't like people coming in once the show's started. Hi. You OK? Yeah. Uh, about yesterday, it was a mistake. I had too much wine, and what with Nigel's death, I think things just got to me. You know, everyone's been interviewed by the police. They asked about you. I don't think I want to talk about this right now. i got to be a funny man. You mind just leaving me alone? Taking into consideration the new evidence, they have, or they feel they have, the right to charge you. Do you understand? I didn't do it, Miss Swinley. I mean, I don't know nothing about no gun, all right? I swear I don't. We haven't got much time, Delroy. I mean, do you have something that you think you ought to tell me? Something you haven't previously told me. It's a very serious charge. It's murder, Delroy. Are you listening to me? Is there something that you think you should tell me? Time's up. Stand up. Just answer yes or no, OK? You OK? Are you Delroy Elwin Manley Smith? Yes, sir. The Treasury today dismissed the report as ill-informed and overly pessimistic and stressed the government's determination to bear down on inflation. The man held in central London in connection with the shooting of John Fratelli near Piccadilly Circus has been charged with his murder. Delroy Smith, aged 26, unemployed and in Gibson in South London, has been in police custody since he was arrested two days ago. Smith was refused bail at this afternoon and will stand trial. Ready in the studio for you, Mr. Lazar? Mr. Lazar? Agencies yeah. in Somalia have again expressed their concern that the international relief effort is being thwarted by continuing violence. Johnny, this is the first time you've been tempted out of New York. Right. What was it that lured you here? Well, I, I've always wanted to. I've got these big boots, so I thought I'd stuff Margaret Thatcher in them and mount her from behind. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
apart from that uh, rather bizarre ambition, uh, I have to tell you she's no longer in office, so she's difficult to find. That's all right. I can mount her anywhere. It doesn't have to be in office. <laughs> really, why did you leave New York? But did this have anything to do with the Hardiman show? You did that talk show in America, and it didn't go so well, did it? What, what happened? Well, um... No, it didn't go very well. I was using uh, recreational drugs and alcohol, and I, I guess I over-recreated a little bit. Now, you've said you're free these days of drug and drink, but I'm told you still smoke 80 cigarettes a day. Have you got some kind Those of death wish? Three. Well, uh, as, as the uh, New York stand-up... Just code, keep it cool, Johnny. Says, just I'm, keep it cool. I smoke to we'll harmonize with my industrial down. environment. <laughs> you really need it, do you? Uh, yeah, I need it. Yours is a most unusual upbringing. You were a white child in Harlem, and you were... I, I am white. Oh, my God, I'm white. <laughs> Never noticed. I feel my penis shrinking, even now. Well, you were... Sure. Penis? Is, is, it a, is it okay to say penis before 9 o'clock? Uh, other parts are going rapidly. Penis is okay. <laughs> you were in Harlem, a white yeah, it was child a with a time, black isn't it? family. Now, this was unique, surely. To yeah, America. well, n I never... I never... Uh, I never thought of myself as being white. I mean, I, I, I believe that when you hit puberty, you turn black, and I'm <laughs> still waiting for that experience. So this has been very useful in your Cut material, is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're, uh, if you're a white guy now, growing isn't up in Harlem, huh? you know, you, mm -hmm. it's pretty helpful to have a few jokes to keep from getting kicked in the teeth. Steady on, did, did your black foster parents want to adopt you? You're moving on, Michael. Um, well, I, 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 I think of myself as being adopted in, uh, in kind of a hard sense, not in not in a legal uh, legal sense. And what about your real parents? Have you ever looked for them? Yes, they are living uh, comfortably with Mama Cass and Elvis in Bolivia right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very comfortable doing this, Mike. Can I call you Mike? It's my name. Together, Mike. Johnny. Um, so, I, if it's okay, can I just do what I do because I don't do this? Okay, fine. Whatever you feel comfortable. Oh, with. The audience are ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Lazar. <laughs> Thank you. I saw pornography in a news agent, and one word came to mind. Timid. Oh, shit, he's not keeping to the script. This is not pornography. I mean, Jesus, back at home, we use pictures like this to advertise stationary equipment. No, seriously, I see a full frontal nude on a billboard, and I think, oh, mustn't forget to pick up some envelopes. I mean, you can't even show a man's erect penis in Britain. I mean, I'm reading this stuff thinking, shit, if he can't be bothered, why should I? So I go to buy some porn. So anyhow, the porn is on the top shelf. Because they don't want the kids to see it. And this is the weird thing about pornography and news Copy agents. One. You can't buy it till you're 18. You can't do it till you're 16. But you can help your daddy sell it when you're 12. I've never heard any of this material. The Jesus shelf, Christ. The kiddies to read. Magazines like Soldier of Fortune, Mercenary Monthly, Night Stalker's Handbook, Me and My Armalite, Scouting with Jeffrey Dahmer. And now all of this stuff, this war stuff on the bottom shelf, means that you're gonna get a bunch of very horny 14-year-olds whacking off over chieftain tanks. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hot stuff. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, show me your exhaust. Oh, I wanna see so far down your barrel I can see your warheads. Oh, you hot bitch. Show me your ammo dump. Oh, God, oh, God. Turn the, turn the page, Bobby. I wanna see Norman Schwartz cough. Oh! This is, this is very, very healthy for them. Why not show them the porn? It can't kill human beings. I mean, you don't see chalked outlines in the road with cops going, uh, it was a tit and run. You don't, see, you don't see headlines in the newspaper saying, bully breast in bank holiday riots. <laughs> see, if that could happen, we'd have used him in the Gulf War. Oh, no, 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 kill Simon Rusty, kill Simon Rusty. Hey, Abdul, Abdul, look out, look out, tits, they're dropping tits from the sky, get to the shelter. Ah, oh, forget about it, they're smart tits, they'll find us anywhere. <laughs> you'd, 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 have, you'd have movies like Apocalypse Now with, smell that? You smell that? That's pussy, son. Oh, I love the smell of pussy in the morning. Smells like victory. <laughs> yeah, make love, not war, man. Thank you very much. Pass. I told you to bring him with you to the fourth floor. And I told you that I told him, and then the PA girl said that she would bring him. They bloody hated him. I told him, I said, stick to the script. What was all that about a porno magazine? He was gonna do the alien material. The show goes out at eight o'clock, eight o'clock. I don't know what's the matter with you, Nula. Late leave. Nula? 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 Nula?
And not out of a running machine. Yes. Yes, it is, uh... yeah. oh. Right. He's taken the suit. It doesn't belong to him. I'll have to pay for that suit. They're all the same cheap, thieving bastards. Michael Aspel's an institution. That show is going to be big, and he's ruined it not just for himself, but for me and the rest of my clients. This is your life, Brian Duffield's out the window, huh? Oh, very funny, New. Let's save it for your action. We might get one laugh. Yes. What? Is that a bloody police station? How can you be so sure our suspect didn't commit the murder? <laughs> because, because the guy who got out of the car, the guy who fired the gun, was a white guy. I, I was standing, I was this close to him. Come on, you guys, Jesus. He had a gray tracksuit on, his hood was pulled up, he, he pushed me. His arm, his, his right arm was down close by his side like this. He raised it up, there was, there was a, 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 like, like a, a, what, a, a, you know, a silencer. Three times. Recognize any of these faces? guy who was driving the Mercedes. Yeah, this, this guy, uh, he was sitting in the back of the car. You sure? You sure? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the guy. Did you get a good look at the man who was shot? No. Um, there were a lot of people around. I mean, he was tall, he had the same... Is this the guy who was shot? Yes, that is the deceased. So, you see, you couldn't have seen him in the back of the car, could you? Now, Mr. Lazar. Do you know who that is? Do you? Yeah. Yeah, it's, um... It's Nigel Perfect. I don't think that's his real name. How do you know? Uh, we were on the same bill. What? He was a comic, I'm a comic. Didn't they tell you anything? Mr. Lazar, through the doors, straight ahead, down two flights, keep going, you can't miss it. And uh, thank you. I check out his address, his entire statement. First thing in the morning, get a photograph of Anthony Fratelli. Give him some excuse. They do look alike, don't they? Well, then they would, like cousins. Good night, and uh, I thank you. Carl, what about Delroy Smith? You heard the comic. Jokes on us, he didn't do it. Let him go. You're my witness. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Angel Lance. Thank you. You've got a wonderful audience. Overnight. Which is why we spent two years developing this thing called Faris. My name. It couldn't be simpler. His name. The computer program asks you questions about your business. Detailed questions. Then tells you the rules and regulations that affect it. Works for any size of business. It's constantly updated. I feel.